Hey guys, welcome to the live stream. Uh, if you're coming across this video for the first time, um, you might be searching for the airlock uh, vacuum filament system. And so this is um, kind of a video about what it's about, um, wh where you're gonna use it and where you can buy it from. So we'll go over to my um, main screen and I'll kind of show you um, a few products. So the makers behind this airlock filament system is um, Polyalchemy. And so you might know them from this filament here. Um, and it's very shiny, a very premium filament and has a really good gloss, very unique. Um, we haven't got another filament that's like it. Um, and so they've invented this new airlock vacuum system. So if we jump over to the product page, this is kind of a USB-C pump that he's designed from scratch. Uh, very small and compact, and you can use it on a power bank or a, um, a phone charger. So that's 40, this is in Australian dollars, $43, and then you get the bags for 22 bucks. If you buy them together, you get $10 off, so for about 50 bucks or so, you kind of get the whole kit and caboodle. So the reason we're kind of promoting this and um, using it in our kind of workflow at work, we have 16 Prusa printers. Um, we have four um, Sunlu dryers. So I'll show you that product as well if you're interested. And so we dry all our filament and then when we put the printers, um, when we start printing, uh, we put the filament in this to keep it a low humidity we want kind of 15 percent humidity while we're printing and um, i've also got uh, i can show you on a kind of a roaming cam what our setup looks like so that's kind of the setup we have for um the the Prusa printer and it sits on top and, and keeps the printer nice and dry while it's printing so after we're finished printing, then we want to kind of use this airlock um, filament vacuum system. So I'll, I've jumped to our keyboard camera here and I'm going to show you how it works. So this is the box that it comes in. I've already opened it, but you get this USB-C cable and you get this pump. So you plug in uh, the USB-C here. Uh, I'm using a power bank today. So you can plug that in there. And then one little push there is gonna turn it on. It's not that loud actually as well. And you got three, you might not be able to see it, but you got three little lights there that show you it's on. So nice little box. And then here's kind of the end product once it's in the bag. Um, so that's one I've done earlier and um, I'll show you how to do one now as well. So these are the, the 12 bags that you get in here. And uh, one thing I want to point out about this system is he's designed the bag from scratch. So before I give you a little demo, I'll show you, um, there is a, he's one of the first, but now there's a few competing products that are coming out. Um, eSun's doing one and you'll see a lot more starting to pop up. But they're including this kind of manual pump with their with their kind of kit, and it's more expensive than ours as well. But basically, it's 80 to 120 like manual pumps to get all the air out, and that's why he's kind of walked on and designed this um, electric pump. So I don't, you know, these work, but um, you know your biceps are going to get a lot bigger while you're pumping. So back to this one, it's fairly easy. You're basically just gonna put it on here um, and seal that up and then push this button like that. So I'll give you a little demo.
Uh, I want to also point out in this box, you also get um, two little clips. So this, I mean, if you're doing lots of these, this comes in handy. It just means you can uh, put it on here and seal it up a bit easier. So put this in here. Now, uh, this is the other thing. With his bags, he's made them a lot bigger and they're a custom size. So he's spent a bit of money on kind of, you know, working out what the right size is. With that ESOM one I showed you, um, it's a bit shorter. So you'll see that when I put this on and it shrinks in, with a shorter bag that sits about here, with the, they've gone and just bought the ones that are readily available, sort of custom size, you're going to end up with this valve kind of like right in here as you're pumping and it's just, it's not, it's not nice. So get out all the air that you can. Slide that across, seal it up. Get your pump. And then put that on there and turn it on. And about 15 to 30 seconds, you're gonna see um, it nearly completed. Um, you can put the decassin uh, like little thing you get to absorb moisture in there as well. It's not going to hurt. We've found that um, you know we have a little um, LCD that shows the um, kind of how much humidity is in there, and generally we get ours down to fifteen percent. And if you um, you know leave that in there, we've measured you know it basically stays at 15 to 20 percent humidity so you don't need to put it in there but it's not going to hurt either you've got kind of room in here to put to put a, um, the measuring device as well I'll show you them on Banggood maybe later so you want to keep going until you got kind of an indent in here and you'll hear the pump get a little bit harder so that's all done there You've gone a bit too far if your roll is kind of flexing here. So, that's it. Nice and compact. And you can see the valve, you've got a lot more room here while you're sucking compared to kind of the, the other competitor bags. Um, so, if we pop this open. These are also food safe. So, if you did want to, you know, you had a few bags lying around. People like their nuts, like their food. Seal this up again. So, I don't know about you guys, but I actually, um, we vacuum seal a lot of our meat, and that kind of thing for the dog and, um, for our food as well, just so it lasts a lot longer. But you could easily do this with um, these bags as well. It's a lot easier and you can reuse them. Like meat, you're probably not gonna reuse, but as you can see, that works quite well. It's quite good as well. So they are quite, quite thick bags. I actually got um, some new knives today. I was thinking we might try this. Do you guys think it's gonna um, pop? seconds. To science. Pretty much done. Hasn't popped. But now it has. So, they're pretty good. We've been using them for, them for about three months now. Um, 
and we probably have kind of 40 rolls vacuum sealed and 60 rolls in our dryer. I'll, um, I'll show you these little humidity sensors. So you can get round ones and square ones from AliExpress or Banggood. Um, hmm, not gonna be there. Do the bags keep the vacuum for a reasonable period of time? Yep, we've had bags sitting there for for a month and it hasn't leaked. And you get uh, round ones that'll fit kind of in the rolls as well. So these are just kind of a good, good little thing to put in. We're going to be selling these as well, but uh, we might even we might even do like a three D print so this fits exactly um, in the middle of the of the roll. So dry the filament, um, stick it in the bag, and then and do some tests yourselves and see how long it lasts. But yeah, we've found it. It's it's quite consistent. Um, we've got these in stock. They came in today, so we've got 58 pumps, um, 180 of these uh, bags, so plenty of stock. Um, and this one here, I'll show you this one again. This one here, I've had probably sitting here since we first got them. It's probably about two months, and you can see that's on the angle. It's still still vacuum sealed, so they've been working pretty good. All right, we might end it there. Have a good night, folks.